Hey there, it's Ty, and it is story time. I think I need a bionic leg. Well, let me tell you the story. <laughs> it starts back in... Well, it actually starts back in high school when I was playing tennis. And I always had knee, knee problems. So uh, I had to wear a knee brace when I played tennis. My knee would swell up. Anyway, fast forward, 2009. Um, uh, I'm w walking with my... Um, friend at the time and um, we're walking down the street and boom I just fall I'm thinking wow that was weird I look back there's nothing there so my knee swells up we've got ice on it forget about it well, four months later, I'm at a Christmas party and we play some ping pong and, you know, I'm doing this back and side side motion, everything's fine. Then uh, we start to play rock band, remember that? So I, had the, I was the guitar player, right? <laughs> Doing back side to side like this, and uh, boom, I fell. And I'm looking around, and I'm thinking, I'm not that drunk. I was having a couple drinks, but come on, how embarrassing! So I get back up, play again, and boom, I'm on the floor, <laughs> just like ah, right. So I make my way out the door. I say, I I, I gotta go. Um, I was really embarrassed. And um, made my way to the car, and I, I kept falling. What is going on? So, made my way home. This was back in Kansas. <laughs> it was so cold, it was the winter time, and um, my pipes froze. So, next morning, I wake up and I'm still like falling on this leg. It's like, what? But I had to deal with these pipes, right? So I had to call the guy and blah, blah, blah. So he came and, and unfroze my pipes. So then I went to this quick care emergency place. So a little birdie told me you're not feeling so good. They're like, oh, wow. Um, there's something wrong with your knee. You don't even want to put weight on it. And I say, no, because I keep falling. So they did the typical take of x-rays, no broken bones, ordered an MRI and um, turned out my ACL was right so uh, needless to say I had ACL surgery and my doctor um, needed to move my patella so my knee kneecap over because it was in the wrong position or something and then lo and behold when I went in there he found a meniscus tear <gasps> it didn't show up on an MRI So here's some pictures of all this stuff. It's really, yeah. So subsequently, um, I had so much going on, I couldn't bend my leg after seven months. So I had another surgery, a debridement, a debridement surgery. So they kind of take out the uh, scar tissue. That's this reaction. And uh, yeah, so that happened. And then, um, I had a Morton's neuroma removed from this right leg on my foot. It was on my foot, but on the right side. Yep. And then when they're in there removing that, they find a ganglion cyst. And I was like, wow, no wonder I was having so much pain in this leg, in this foot. So then that ganglion, they took it out. Six months later, the ganglion cyst comes back and it's so painful to walk on. So. I had another op operation and they took that out again. And uh, so now just about a month ago or about May 22nd, I had my leg up like this 
and I went to just pull it over. So I was kind of sitting Indian style. I went to pull it over and it locked. And I was like, whoa. I pulled it to unlock it and I was like, that's weird. That's never happened before. And so it locked about five times. The last two times I heard these huge pops. I was like, what is going on? So I call the doctor and I say, um, I tell him what happened, tell the, the orthopedic doctor that I thought I should call. And they said, um, well, we're going to need your records from Kansas from the doctor. And I said, okay, that was nine years ago. I don't even remember the doctor that did my surgery or even where it was at. And I don't remember. Ah! I had to go through all this stuff. Finally, I found some records of my surgery with the doctor's name on it. And I had my wife call because I was presenting as female back then. So if I call, oh, I was just a big mess. So I sent them to my PCP because she knows about me being transgender because if this doctor's office heard, got the records, it would have been of, with my prior name and they would have been, who is this? So I had my doctor's office call down bring the records down to them and tell them about me being transgender blah 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 blah. so then they got the records i call and try i wait a week waiting for them to call they never did i try to make an appointment they're like well the first available appointment is july 27th <laughs> i'm like um okay well can i go to there's a quick there's a um walking clinic in concord you know the way uh, that you guys have can I go there well well that's just for acute um, accidents and I said well when I call you that was an acute accident it just happened and you made me wait because you needed the records I was so angry so I was like ah so I called my, my PCP made an appointment with her her husband happens to own the orthopedic center that I went, was going to she gets on the phone anyway long story short had an MRI done. They got me in fast because she made the phone call. And, um, of course, the, the hidden meniscus tear. He's like, well, I see some arthritis in there, but there's a, there's a shadow. And sometimes tears hide behind and it creates a shadow. It's kind of like a crack in the corner of a doorway, you know? And I'm like, yeah. So, um, anyway, another long story short. I'm having surgery because the leg is locking and because of all my symptoms he thinks that the MC the meniscus is flipping so that meniscus can pivot on those two fixation points and flip into the notch as shown here and getting caught in my kneecap and then it's flipping out when I pull it so he needs to go in and fix that so Surgery is scheduled for three weeks from today, which would be July 9th. Now, how am I going to make my bottom surgery appointment, which is August 21st? Now, I'm sure all of you are going to say, well, meniscus surgeries are really easy and you recover really fast. And I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping. But I always have problems with my recoveries. And I am older, you know. So that takes into factor, or they take, you know, I, I, I don't heal as fast as a 20 year old, I'm 54. So anyway, I think I need a bionic leg. Better, stronger, faster. So if anybody knows how I can get a bionic leg, please let me know. Cause, um, there's going to be a couple surgeries going on, uh, and eventually I'm going to need that knee, uh, probably a, a full knee replacement, I'm sure. So that's what I wanted to jump in here and tell you. I hope to have bottom surgery on August 21st. I hope I can manage both of these surgeries. So wish me luck. But don't forget, hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> And please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when there's another video out for you. Alright, I'll see you next time.